Hey you guys, it's Christina and I am so excited today because we're gonna be making a fully raw pumpkin pie cheesecake. This dessert is incredible. It is unbelievable. Four layers of this scrumptious pie will leave you wanting more and it is the perfect dessert to bring with you to any occasion this holiday season. Now you guys know that I love sweets, but I also love being able to indulge without feeling guilty. So this pie is the treat for you and it's the treat for me too because it's made without animal products, without processed chemical ingredients, it's completely vegan, it's fully raw, and I know you're gonna love it. All you need for this pie are a few simple ingredients. I'm gonna be using my food processor and my Vitamix blender to make this recipe. And you'll also need a beautiful pie platter as well if you have one. Are you ready? Let's get started. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for a slice of pumpkin pie? Let's get started. This pie has four deliciously rich and perfectly crafted layers to it. So we're gonna get started by making first the date mulberry crust of this pie. And what you will first need to do is grab your food processor and when ready, add into it approximately one and a half cups of freshly pitted medjool dates, two cups of mulberries, and a tablespoon of cinnamon. By the way, if you guys are a fan of cinnamon like me, you should check out my video on how to make freshly ground cinnamon, and I'll put the link below just for you. When ready, go ahead and process this until it reaches that awesome pie texture that you love, and press it into your pie pan of choice. And did I mention this is like my favorite layer? For some reason, I always just love eating the crust. You can make this into a granola bar and take it with you anywhere you go. Layer one, complete. Yum. You're so jealous right now, you just want some pie crust. Mmm, but it's so good. Next up, we're gonna be making the pumpkin pie cheesecake filling of this delicious pie. When ready, go ahead and add into your Vitamix blender approximately one to two small persimmons, a half of one small pie pumpkin, seeded and peeled, half a cup of soaked cashews, and you can soak these for about four to five hours, and a dash of cinnamon. Go ahead and blend that up until it gets completely creamy, taking on the consistency of a cheesecake type of filling. If it's not sweet enough for you, then you can add in a few dates. Mmm, are you guys looking at this? Look at how creamy this is. This tastes literally just like pumpkin pie cheesecake filling. Mmm, creamy, so good. When ready, go ahead and pour it into your pie pan, grab a spatula and spread it on top. Okay, so layer two is complete. So next up, we're gonna be making our pumpkin, pecan, persimmon glaze layer. And this is what really tastes like pumpkin pie and it's what really makes it even more rich and savory. This could be drinking just like a smoothie if you really want it. Wait, but first, don't get ahead of yourself, Christina. We gotta keep making the pie. So when ready, go ahead and add into your Vitamix blender approximately four to five small ripe persimmons. And keep in mind that you know that they're ripe when they are really soft to the touch. A half a cup of medjool dates, a 
half a cup of fresh pecans, the other half of your pie pumpkin seeded and peeled, and a dash of cinnamon. Dashing through the snow. Okay, so when ready, go ahead and blend it on up. Take this deliciously creamy pumpkin pie filling mixture, pour it on top of your cheesecake filling, and voila, layer three is complete. And if you want to, you can go ahead and add this into your freezer before we put on the cream cheese icing. But if you want to go ahead and just add in your icing on top and then freeze it, you can do that too. To make the icing of this pie, we're gonna go ahead and blend up half a cup of raw maple water, or you can use coconut water if you don't have raw maple water, and approximately two to three cups of soaked cashews. If you want it to stay white, you can add in a squirt of fresh orange or lemon juice as well. And when ready, you can grab a piping bag or even a Ziploc bag and cut off the tip. You can fill it up and then just start applying the icing however you wish. I love making these little dots because they're fun, they're creative, and to me they just feel like pumpkin pie cheesecake for the holidays. Look how beautiful this is. Gorgeous! May I present to you the fully raw pumpkin pie cheesecake. It's better than my pumpkin pie because I've literally just taken it to the next level. This recipe is decadent, it's indulgent, it's guilt-free, and it is absolutely my favorite new holiday dessert. I know what I'm bringing this year to all my events. If this looks good to you and if you're excited to give it a try, please give this video a thumbs up and comment below and let me know what you think. If you guys need more tips, tricks, or recipes on how to go fully raw, please subscribe here to Fully Raw Christina as we have fun in the kitchen making epic deliciousness together. If you guys wanna follow me daily, don't forget, I'm on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, and I'm on Snapchat now every day as well, posting and sharing what I'm eating, what I'm doing, all the above. All right, you guys, I am wishing you all the most blessed and happy Thanksgiving. I am so grateful to have you in my life, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on my next video. Sending you all my hugs and my love. Bye.